Good morning friends, I am S. Hariharan, Assistant Professor in PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. In this video, we are going to discuss about sequencing problem. Loading, sequencing and scheduling. The production schedules are developed by performing the following functions like loading, sequencing, scheduling. Loading, sequencing, scheduling that is the continue. What is meant by loading? Which department is going to do what work? Sequencing. What is the order in which the work will be done? Scheduling. What are the start and finish times of each job? Loading. Loading also called shop loading assigns the work to various facilities like divisions, departments, work center, load center, stations, machines and people. We will often use the term machines in this presentation when we refer to a facility. Loading is done for both manufacturing and services. Sequencing. Sequencing models and methods follow the discussion of loading models and methods. Sequencing establishes the order for doing the job at each facility. Sequencing reflects the job priorities according to the way that jobs are arranged in the queues. Say that jobs X, Y and Z have been assigned to workstation 1 through loading function. Jobs X, Y and Z are in a queue that is waiting line. Sequencing rules determine which job should be first in line, which second, etc. Scheduling. A production schedule is the timetable that specifies the times at which the jobs in a production department will be processed on various machines. The schedule gives the starting and ending times of each job on the machines on which the job have to be processed. Scheduling example assumptions. Once a job is started on a machine, its processing cannot be interrupted that is Preemption is not allowed. The machines are continuously available and will not break down during the planning horizon. This assumption is rather unrealistic but we make this assumption to avoid complexity in discussing scheduling concepts. A machine is not kept ideal if a job is available to be processed. Also, each machine can process only one job at a time. Classification of scheduling problems. The scheduling problems can be classified based on the following criteria. Sequence of machines, number of machines, processing times, job arrival time, objective functions. Number of machines. Based on the number of machines, the scheduling problems are classified as single machine problems, two machine problems, multiple, three or more machine problems. Processing times. Deterministic. If processing times of all jobs are known and constant, the scheduling problem is called a deterministic problem. Next one, probabilistic. The scheduling problem is called probabilistic or stochastic. If the processing times are not fixed, that is, the processing times must be represented by a probability distribution. Thank you.